It's Friday, which means welcome back to the episode of new makeup release Friday. Guys, this is where we sit back, relax, we talk about all the new makeup releases and whether or not we think it's worth it. So you guys want to see what is coming out this week, what well, my thoughts are, well then definitely keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so I'm back at it again with another full face of makeup, but hear me out, hear me out. I have recently been diving really hard into TikTok and shorts and like IG reels, although IG, like IG hates me. I never get any views over there, but like I don't really care, but I've really been diving into shorts. I really wanted to focus on shorts last year, but I just didn't really have a lot of time. This year I do, so I'm really focusing a lot over on TikTok. So if you guys wanna go follow me over there, it would seriously like mean the world to me. But I filmed this little like tutorial over on TikTok, which I will post to YouTube shorts if it's under a minute, but this is the mob wife aesthetic. It's a new trend going around TikTok where everybody's dress where everybody's doing their makeup as if they were a mob wife and this is my rendition on it i'll make sure i link all the products i'm wearing down below but my tutorial on that is actually going to be over on tiktok and if i could post it here to shorts i absolutely will but here's the mob wife aesthetic i have another one coming out of like the 2016 makeup trend because that's a new one that's going around as well i think they're so much fun i really have been enjoying doing shorts so that is all my makeup is already done so if you guys want to go watch it please do go show it some love, go show my TikTok some love. It would seriously just like mean the world to me and I will forever be grateful for you guys. So with that said, guys, we're going to go ahead and dive into this week's new makeup releases. So as you guys know, Nomad Cosmetics recently launched their brand new New Zealand star gazing palette. I really love the eye look that I created with that look. So many of you guys loved it too, which I was just I don't know. I wasn't expecting because at the end of the day, like I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast who just loves to do makeup. And I just kind of like went for it in that makeup look. I kind of just tried different colors I normally wouldn't try. And I really loved how it came out. So did you guys. And that palette officially did launch this past Tuesday. You guys can use code Allie, which will save you guys 10% when shopping anything Nomad Cosmetics. But that palette is officially live. If you guys do want to go check it out, pick it up. I definitely think you guys would enjoy that one. Also, before I forget, and I'm kind of like scared to mention this because because man, last time I mentioned this, the people in my comment section were just like, this is an unpaid sponsorship. This is an undisclosed ad. Y'all, if I ever had a sponsorship or an ad, don't you think I'd be screaming it on top of the roof? Like, hey, look guys, look, I finally have a sponsorship. Don't you think I'd be screaming it to everybody? I'd be, I would be letting everybody know because that would be so cool. I never ever really get sponsorships like ever you know the one that I the big one that I had I did have to turn it down because it was a fat fit fun and then I occasionally did once with Ofer Cosmetics but generally I don't do any sponsorships because I'm not ever offered any so if I ever have one I'll definitely scream it out on the roof to you guys but I've talked about my nails before because I I love doing press on nails I used to really hate it back in the day but then I found the shapes that really work best for me I absolutely love these nails these are the kiss nails or like they're called impression nails, but they're by Kiss, so they're impression. And I literally put on a new pair every single week. Usually the packs come with like 30 nails. I usually change my, my nails out once a week. They usually come with 30 nails inside the set. And then whenever these come off, I throw these ones away, but I still have so many other ones if I want to reuse this again. And what I love about these are these are the ones that require no glue. They literally just, you know, pull off the little tab and stick it on. However, for me, I still use maximum strength nail glue. Like it's the Kiss Maximum Strength Nail Glue. I put on like two little dots on my nail. Then I pull off the strip and put the nail on top. And I'm telling you, the hole that these nails have, these do not budge. Like these do not budge. Now, sometimes they'll pop off because I wash my hands a lot. I clean a lot. I do a lot of makeup and use like a lot of like, you know, skin care stuff like skin care stuff to wash my face so you know they're not perfect they do pop off but they're so easy to glue back down but i absolutely love them they literally last me for like two weeks if i wanted them to they're so freaking great and so many of you guys in my twilight video yesterday were asking me like what blue this was y'all it's press on nails it's press on nails so I didn't want to like talk about it because I don't want people to think I'm doing an undisclosed ad. Trust me, I wish Kiss would sponsor me. But I think what I'm going to start doing, um, I think I'm just going to start linking the nails that I'm wearing down below. So if you guys ever want to see what color this is or like what nail it is, I'll have a link down below in my description every single time for you guys. Because 
I literally just go to Target and I go to like the drugstore section and there's usually like a little end cap where they have all the Kiss Nails Ling. I just grab a pack from there. It's like $9.99. I just grab a pack and that's going to be like what I'm going to wear. So I usually, I think I have like a set lasting me for like the next four weeks. I have like colors picked and I just feel like they're so easy. They're so pretty. They're so easy to work with. I absolutely love this set. Oh, this one's a little stained because of my, my makeup, but like, I just think it's so fun and you get to be creative. You can place them however you want to. And I just, I really, I really do enjoy them. And I, I got a lot of comments yesterday asking me what my nail color was and everybody was in my DMs asking me and I'm like, it's just kiss press on nails. So I'll just start pinning them down below so you guys can go check them out. If I can find them online, I can't always guarantee they'll be available online, but always go check like Target. That is where I've been finding my nails. So I just wanted to let you guys know. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this week's new makeup releases. I guess I gotta channel my inner, my inner mob wife vibes. <laughs> I can never, I'm I, I, I can never be a mob wife. Okay, so starting off, we have a new blush product from Krim, from Krim Shop. This is the Hello Kitty collaboration with the Krim Shop. This is a cream blush balm. They retail for $15 each and they're in the shade Peach Puff, Strawberry Milk, and Berry Cute. You know, the only time I ever see in the Krim Shop is whenever I go to CVS. They have like a little stand for it, but I never actually tried this brand. If you guys want me to check out this brand, let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to try it out because I wanted, you know, I told you guys I'm bringing my that, that series. I'm doing a full face of one makeup brand every single month if not twice a month we do have another one coming up next week but then the following month i do have one already but then if you guys want another one let me know so this is something I, I could definitely pick up if you guys want me to okay so up next it looks like we have a new uh lip balm this is from the brand breeze balm and it's their ice cream collection they retail for 15 dollars each and they're going to be in the sense mango sorbet lip balm some sorbet sprinkle lip balm and bubblegum dream lip balm you know i've never heard of this brand before um i don't even know where you'll get this i feel like it's a little expensive for a lip balm is that expensive for a lip balm because i still like live and breathe by my like vaseline aloe vera like lip balm in a little tin i still live and breathe by that i have my summer fridays natural lip balm i have like my laneige i have glam light i have like jacqueline i have so many different like lip balms kind of like scattered throughout my house in my purse on my filming desk on my editing desk like i kind of have them everywhere so i don't really know if like 15 dollars is a reasonable price let me know if it is because i'm like is that is that expensive i still also use chapstick i still love chapstick too okay this is really pretty but fenty beauty is launching a brand new gloss balm shade this is going to be the shade fuchsia flex and it's a lip it's a lip luminizer so this is a shimmering holographic deep fuchsia that makes lips look instantly fuller with a non-sticky formula that's super shiny and has an irresistible peach vanilla scent retails for 21 dollars. i'm not gonna lie this is a really pretty color typically I wouldn't necessarily wear a color like that, but like, I feel like with this lip right here, that would probably be like so freaking gorgeous. I also love, I also love a really peachy scent. So that's something that's kind of drawing me in. And I think the color's really pretty. It looks like these models are wearing the color by itself with nothing underneath it. So like, this might be something I want to check out inside Sephora mindfully though, because we've been seeing it. We've been talking about it for the last month that, that these Sephora kids like these 10 year olds are coming in and then destroying everything and now they're hitting up fenty i've been seeing on my tiktok they're destroying fenty and i'm just like damn it don't take away our good makeup <laughs> okay so up next it looks like tarte is releasing two maracuja juicy eye and cheek palettes these are all in one palettes with 12 rosy bronze and neutral shades mattes and shimmers with a sheen finish there's two cream blushes and one cream contour they retail for 52 dollars each there's the shades pink and pink it's a peachy and pink palette and red and berry palette um this is going to be such an easy pass for me <sighs> something about tarte like i like the Tarte Maracuja line, like their lip plumpers are so freaking good, so freaking pretty. But like when it comes to like their eyeshadow palettes, I'm not always drawn to them. They're kind of bland, kind of basic, kind of boring. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that because I know there's a big market out there of people who just love the general neutral shade. And they also love like an all-in-one palette. I can see why this would be definitely a great hit for the brand. But for me personally, I just am like, this is cool but like it just doesn't excite me so i don't want to just waste my money just to get it to have i don't want to get i don't want to waste my money just to buy it just because so this is uh something i'm gonna definitely pass on okay 
This next collection I think is so freaking beautiful, but we have the new Floracis note. We have the new Floracis collection. This is their Nomadic Glam collection, a tribute to the a spacious Uzili pattern and four elements of the nomadic culture of the sky, clouds, grasslands, and rivers. And I have to say, this is just really, really pretty. I've, I've actually had a chance to play with several of Fl Floracis Beauty product lines and their products are really, really beautiful. I feel like they're very minimalistic in terms of like, you can create very soft, minimalistic makeup looks for like that makeup, no makeup look. Very easy to work with, very soft, very blendable. I really have enjoyed the brand. And I feel like this is such a pretty, pretty, pretty collection. But, but Floraces, as well as like Flower Nose Beauty are one of those brands that they're so freaking pretty that I like never wanna touch it. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna destroy it. Like, I'm gonna destroy it, okay? I drop stuff all the time on my desk. Um, you should see my carpet at this point. Somehow there's makeup stains on my carpet. Don't ask how. <laughs> and we rent this place. So I'm just like, oh God, I'm gonna have to come up. I'm gonna have to pay like a cleaning fee or something because these stains, I've I've tried to get them out. I've tried and um, they, they've just, they won't, they won't come out. I heard they're replacing carpets when people move out. So we shall see, but... Needless to say, I'm very clumsy. So the last thing I want to do is have a beautiful collection like this and then drop it and shatter it because I would be devastated. But I will say this is a very, very pretty collection. Am I going to pick it up? Probably not because I know that I would try it out, but I really wouldn't use it as much because it's too pretty. But I will say I do love how it looks. All right, so up next, it looks like Catrice is celebrating Valentine's Day over in Europe. They're releasing a blush stamp, a matte liquid lipstick, a highlighter, a nail lacquer, a full shine lipstick. And for me, this is such an easy pass. I don't know what it is, y'all. I just hate Valentine's Day. I have always hated Valentine's Day. And you know what's so funny is I'm gonna tell a story really fast. Gather around, gather around. <laughs> we are doing a little story time. Back when I was in middle school and high school, I didn't really have any boyfriends. I just didn't. I was too focused on academics, but I also like was one of those like late bloomers where I didn't get titties until I was like, I'm still waiting. Um, you know what I mean? Like I was a very late bloomer. My period started when I was 14. I got little mosquito bites. Like I, I was that person. No lie. That was in ninth grade shoving like beads down my fucking bra to, um, literally give it lift and try to give whatever mosquito bites I have just a little bit of cleavage. I pull it down. I go, Ooh, Ooh. And then one day a little bead went bloop, and I was like, <laughs> Like, don't anyone see this? I would stuff my bra. I flat out stuffed my bra my entire ninth grade year because I just wanted to be noticed by boys. And then the time that I was noticed by boys, there are boys that like, I don't know. It was like that awkward phase, right? That awkward phase in your life with like the boys that like I would draw attention to would a thousand percent be like, can I, can I hold your hand? I'm like, why are you asking? Just do it. Can I give you a little kiss? Why are you asking? Just do it. It was just a very awkward time in life that I realized. <laughs> Very awkward. And um, the boys that I ended up really, really liking never even knew that I really ended up liking them because I have always been my entire life, like my entire life, I have always been more drawn to a person's personality versus their looks. But remember being back in high school and middle school, people would be like, you have to be the hottest person. And if you ever found someone that was deemed unattractive, they would make fun of you. But there is this kid that I was in seventh grade he treated me like I was a queen that walked this earth. He made me laugh in a way that no one else did. He made me feel so comfortable in my, in my skin, but he was classified as a really weird kid. A lot of people just were like thinking that he's super weird because he was so quiet. He draw like creepy drawings. He was really reserved, really had a bad home life. And he just was a really nice guy, but people really overlooked him because he was not a looker by any means, but he was someone that like I was really drawn to and I really ended up liking this guy, but I never told him because I was so afraid of what everybody else would say. I felt like in love with his personality and I never knew what happened to him because we went, we went in different directions in eighth grade. He went to a different school, never knew what happened to him. But uh, needless to say, I went off on a tangent. I'm so sorry. Um, I just have never been a big fan of like Valentine's Day. So like my middle school and my high school used to always force us to celebrate Valentine's Day. They would put like flowers. You can send like flower grams, kind of like in Mean Girls with like the candy cane gram. That's how it was with our school. Like they would come deliver to you in third period and say your name and like, here, roses for you, roses for you. So I would make my best friend at the time literally buy me roses and I would do the same thing for her. 
But like we were weird about it because we were always scared that no one would ever give us anything, especially me. She had a boyfriend, but especially me. So she would go out and buy me like teddy bear, flowers, candy, balloons. She would bring it to school on Valentine's Day. I would do the exact same thing for her. We bring it for each other so that we walked around and looked like, you know, we had people that admired us. It was just like really us buying stuff for each other. <laughs> and it was like that my entire high school life. I always hated Valentine's Day. And then I met Corey and I was very open to Corey about how much I hated Valentine's Day. Even though it's been like 15 years later, we are married, okay? We still, like I still tell him, I don't, don't ever get me anything for Valentine's Day. Just don't do it. But last year and this year we decided to spice things up. We decided to do like a little challenge where we have to go to like Target and go to like the dollar section and find like little stupid stuff to give each other. So it's not really always just like Valentine's Day related, but like he'll get me like a little book or something that I can like a pair of boxers, like something just a little bit different. I know it's not the dollar item, but like, you know what I mean? We feel like a little $25, fill your card up, get each other something that doesn't necessarily have to do with Valentine's Day. And that's like how we celebrate, but Anyway, I went off on a whole tangent. I'm so sorry. I just shared a part of my life with you guys. Why I always hated Valentine's Day is because I never had anyone back when I was a child to celebrate with. And you know, you'd be back in elementary school and you have those little boxes where all the teachers would make every kid pass around with like a little, like be my Valentine note and they shove it in your box with candy. Oh, God, I hated that shit. I hated it. I hated it. So I never liked it. So whenever I see a company coming out with a Valentine's Day collection, I'm always like, Yay. Like I never just get that excited about it. They're pretty, they're fun, but I'm not over here going rah, 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 Valentine's Day. Woo. Yeah. I don't just, I just, uh, I don't get excited for it. So, um, I went off on a very long tangent. I apologize. If you guys ever want me to tell you more stories like that, like story times about my high school and things that like happened to me, I will gladly tell you. I would gladly tell you about that time that I was 13 years old and I got kicked out of club Paris for booty dancing. That's a whole other story. My parents did not know until <laughs> the cops called them and let them know. Anyway, um, we have another product. So the next product we have is from Dior. They're releasing their new glow products. So they're releasing a Dior Forever Glow Maximize Highlighter and a Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. So I'm assuming the filter would be just like the Charlotte Tilbury, like Hollywood filter, like the Elf Halo Glow, where it's just like this beautiful, like luminizer they put on before you put on your full base to give you nice lum luminous glow. And looking at it right here, that's pretty much how they're describing it. It's illuminating fluid that enhances the complex and visibly smooths the skin, both a complex makeup product and a treatment with a fresh and light texture that offers 24 hours of hydration, reveals the natural radiance of bare skin. For me, this is something I never really would get a use out of because I just really don't like to have a luminous skin. My natural oil is going to do that for me. So for me, I don't need to emphasize it. So this is an easy pass. The highlighter does look pretty cool. But it is a liquid highlighter that is dressed, but it is a liquid highlighter that dresses the complexion with a spectacular light and radiance instantly for the whole day infused with fine pearls for healthy glow. There's only six shades on that one. I would be kind of interested. I'm not the biggest fan of liquid highlighters, but I'd be kind of interested in at least checking that one out. Up next, Laneige is releasing a new lip balm. So this is going to be their swirled lip sleeping mask and cotton candy. A leave-on lip mask that delivers intense moisture and antioxidants while I sleep with a berry, fruit complex, and shea butter. It retails for $25. Now listen, I have the one that came out for Christmas. It was their peppermint one. I actually have it sitting right over there. <laughs> Let me just not, not be lazy and grab it. So this is the peppermint one. This is a lip sleeping mask, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I don't use this as a lip sleeping mask. I just use it as a mask <laughs> when I'm sitting at my desk. But let me tell you, the way that I keep licking this because it tastes and smells like peppermint, y'all know I have a habit of licking makeup. I know I should not. It's not good for you. Don't do as I do as I say, don't do as I do. So I love the peppermint one. So when they said they're doing cotton candy, I was like, oh my God, yes, I need that. Will I lick it and probably eat it? Yes, I probably will. But what can I say? Don't make it so tasty. And then I won't do that. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Human moment here for a second. I've been up for last, I've been up for three hours now and I have not had anything to eat yet. So um, I'm hungry, I'm hungry needless to say. So if you hear my stomach, I'm so sorry. She just wants to participate in this video. She wants to give you guys her two cents. Because I've already been rambling on. Quick question for you guys. Do you guys um, 
did you guys suffer this the way that I did back when I was in school, like middle school and high school? If like my stomach was growling, I was doing everything I freaking can to like cover my stomach and like suck it in as best I could because I was so embarrassed for anyone to hear my stomach growling. Like, do you guys remember, did, was it just me? Or did anyone else do that? They just like would cover their stomach and like kind of like lean over or suck in or like, <laughs> like when their stomach's growling so they can kind of hide the noise because God forbid we have a stomach growling, you're a human, it's, it's gonna happen. Did that happen to anybody else? Like was, or was it just me being super embarrassed by having stomach noise? Like me, just me? Okay. <laughs> okay, so up next, it looks like Smashbox is releasing a new product. This is their Halo Sculpt and Glow Face Palette with Vitamin E. This retails for $45 and this is an all-in-one contour blush and highlighter palette with four cushiony shades to build effortless and natural looking color and dimension. And um, this is really cool, it's really pretty. Something I'm gonna pass on though, just because I don't really find it that exciting. And I've tried a few of Smashbox products and I haven't been the most thrilled by them. The one thing I really do love is their foundation. Like they're always on foundation. I think it's fantastic. But for me personally, I know I wouldn't get too much of a use out of this. So this is like a easy pass for me. I feel like I'm one of the only people not excited about this next launch. I've seen a lot of influencers repost this being like, oh my God, I have to get it. It's revolutionary. And I'm like, it's just lipstick. But I guess that's just me. So uh, Charlotte Tilbury is releasing a new lipstick. This is their Valentine's Day collection. This is their Hollywood Beauty Icon lipsticks in um, Kissing in uh, New Hollywood lipsticks, K-I-S-S-I-N-G in pinks and reds. They retail for $35 each. It looks like you're gonna have five pinks and five reds. And everybody's like going crazy over this. One, I don't wear pinky lipstick, so that's like such an easy pass right there. But then two, I tried Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Formula. They're good, like I do like them, but I do have to put a gloss on top of this. And the color reds that they have seem to be very, very much like a berry tone red. The only one that's not is like a Pisa that's classified as a blue red. That would be the only thing I'd be slightly interested in because when it comes to a red, I'm very particular about the color. I need it to be like a true blood red or like a red or like a blue, a blue red, blue purple red to get that really nice like deep tone. And you guys always ask me like how my teeth look so white. It's the lipstick. Your lipstick can really either make your teeth look extra white or make your teeth look extra yellow. It just depends about the undertone of it. So I just prefer like a blue purple undertone to my reds to really give me that bright white teeth aesthetic, really look deep and blood-like. I just, I really love how it looks. So for me, this collection is really such an easy, easy pass. But everybody's going crazy for it, and I get it, because it's Charlotte Tilbury, and Charlotte Tilbury is iconic. I love Charlotte Tilbury, but this is a, a collection that's very easy for me to say no to. Okay, guys, so this next launch, I kind of want to try it for the sake of trying it. So a long time ago, Kim Kardashian had her beauty line called KKW Beauty. The only thing I've ever tried from them was her palette that she created with Mar makeup by Mario, and it's a really pretty palette. Um, don't go watch that video though, because in that video I tried on magnetic lashes. <sighs> Y'all, the way that they hung, like literally like right here off my eye was wild and I posted it to YouTube. Don't go find it. But I never really tried the brand ever since because I found the brand to be just really boring, very plain Jane. The aesthetic is very, very plain, very minimalistic. And that's how she likes it, which I respect. And then the color stories on the, and then all her other products are very, very, very neutral based. based. So Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian just announced she's bringing her makeup brand back, but this time she's doing it through her company Skims. So this is Skin by Kim Kardashian. She's gonna be launching a soft matte lip color that retails for $32. There's gonna be 10 full coverage velvety matte lipsticks in this. There's gonna be uh, 15 long wear matte lip pencils for 22. And she's releasing the classic mattes eyeshadow palette for $50. There's 12 warm and cool tone nude shades and silky mattes. Now this is gonna be launching on the 26th. And I kind of want to pick up some items, not the entire thing, but some items. And the only reason why is because I want to see if I could find a replacement of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bourbon Lip Liner. Y'all know I'm already on the hunt for this. But like, I will say the swatches right here are a little, a little, a little interesting because they all look the same. There are like 15 shades of the same brown. In my opinion, they look very, very similar. Yes, some vary just a little bit, but they look 
very, very, very similar. But it looks like I do see a shade that looks similar to bourbon. Um, I'll try to circle it right here so you guys can see. That looks pretty similar to bourbon, so I feel like I'd want to try that out. But I will say all these liners just look very, very neutral and very similar in tones. And then she's also releasing some lipsticks. Now these lipsticks are again, very basic, very neutral. So you have just a range of nudie lipsticks, which I think is fantastic for those who do love to have just a good nude moment. So I feel like I would probably pick up one or two shades of this to try out the formula. And then we do have the palette. And the palette is the only one that I'm kind of like, oh God, like, I don't know if I would like it. I mean, granted, granted, I'm wearing just two shades. I'm wearing a brown and a black shade on my lip right now, on my lid right now. I'm using the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. And I'm literally just using the shade uh, Kicking Fate and Rock Bottom right here. That's all I'm using on my lid. That's literally what I'm using. And uh, I really do like the look. I think it's really pretty, very smoky. So I can get, I can get, I get that I can get that feel out of this. So I just don't know how often I use it. It's just, it's very matte. And you guys know I like to have a good shimmer, so I don't know. I might try the palette, but I also might not try the palette. I haven't decided. We'll see what happens during launch time, but let me know your thoughts about this one. Are you guys excited about this one? Are you guys not? Let me know because KKW seems like it's back. Up next, it looks like Road Beauty is releasing a new daily cleanser. This is the Pineapple Refresh Cleanser. This is a refreshing balm to lather daily cleanser, leaving your skin clean, soft, bouncy post rinse. So it does retail for $28 and it's supposed to cleanse without stripping or drying skin. It's supposed to lock in moisture and it helps protect against environmental stressors like pollution, extreme weather, and travel. Very interesting how they word that. Um, I've heard mixed reviews when it comes to Road Beauty. A lot of people tend to love it. A lot of people don't. Like when it comes to like their peptide lip treatment, half the people say it's amazing. Other people are saying that it's horrible. I don't know. I will say her brand is pretty affordable for what it is, her, especially being a celebrity like skincare brand. But like, I don't know. I kind of want to try it. We'll see. I might, I might try it one day. Okay. So up next, this next launch is getting everybody super excited. So my good friend James actually sent this to me because this is actually a makeup brand found in Australia that is now making its way over to the United States. So this is the brand new, uh, this is the Mick Co Beauty. This is Lux for Less. You might have seen them on your TikTok for you page as they're known for their high end as they're known for their viral high-end dupes. They're known for providing super high-quality products at affordable price. All their products are $30 and under, and this has been a brand that's, this has been Australia's fastest growing brand since 2016, and they're finally coming over here. So they have an Extend Lash Mascara. They have, a, that's which is which is a dupe for the Kevin Aquan Volumizing Mascara. They have the, um, Super Glow Bronzing Drops, which are duped to the Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops, and they have so many other dupes on their website. So it looks like they're gonna be available online and in stores. They're gonna be available in about 1,800 plus Kroger stores across the United States, along with Ralph's, Fred Meyer, Smith's, Marino's, King Scoopers, Pick and Save Store, Dylan's, Marino's, City Market, Metro Market, and more. Now, I don't really have any of those shops near me, at all. I don't think they're in Florida besides Dillard's. So this might be one of those brands I'll definitely have to try out online. I've heard nothing but amazing things, especially like from James who said that he loves his brand. And like, this is like the Charlotte Tilbury. Like that is like the Charlotte Tilbury, like Hollywood filter glow right there. Like you can clearly see that. This is the Drunk Elephant Dupes. So I think I'll probably end up doing a full face of this brand to give it a try because this is supposed to be like a high quality, affordable dupe brand. So um, it's officially coming here if you guys want to check it out. Up next, it looks like Sol de Janeiro is releasing another new shade. So they're releasing the Sicaro Crush. <laughs> it says, be your own summer crush with its juicy notes of crisp pear, pink violet, and white cider. It's going to be coming soon to, to retailers. That looks like it smells amazing. I would definitely love to smell that and check that out because I really do like Sol de Janeiro products. They work beautifully. Up next, looks like Elf Cosmetics just dropped their brand new Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. They retail for $8 each, and they're a lip plumper, gloss, and balm that drenches lips in a sheer wash of color and shine while pumping of plumping the appearance of lips with an invigorating tingle. And they look like they're gonna be available in like six or seven shades. I 
definitely like to try this out. I really do love e.l.f. I think their products are phenomenal. So I definitely like to try this out because I never did get the NYX like lip plumping pen. So maybe I'll end up just picking up something from e.l.f. to give that a go. But it's available now. It just launched today if you guys want to check it out. Last but not least, we have another day, another ColourPop. So ColourPop just launched yesterday their brand new Lost in Love collection. This is going to roll out with a Lost in Love eyeshadow palette, a lip and cheek balm in three different shades, and it has a new multi-use technology. It has three Jelly Mud shadows, three ultra lip glosses, a heart blending sponge with a new color changing technology, and it also has a glitterly obsessed product in there. Now, I did not get this in PR. I know so many of the people who did get this in PR, and for me, I'm okay if I didn't get it because I, one, I don't like glitterly obsessed products from ColourPop. You guys know this. When it comes to Jelly Much Shadow Formula, they're fantastic. However, I have had such an extensive Super Shock Shadow and their Jelly Much Shadows collection for a long time. And then when I started doing my declutter series, we came across how hard pan these actually were and they kind of crumbled. So they don't have a longevity to them. They do have an expiration. So I would say after about a year, these do start to harden. They do have their cream blushes in here, um, which I do really love. ColourPop blushes, they're fantastic. And then they have their Ultra Gloss lip which is okay and then they have their palette and i will say the palette's really pretty but honestly i really wouldn't get in a use out of this palette except for reviewing it for a youtube video i wouldn't really touch it any other way because it's mostly pinks and reds and it does have like two oranges in there which is really pretty but you guys know that pinks and reds are colors that i tend to stay away from so this is a collection that i'm, I'm going to pass on i'm not going to get it and uh i am excited to see that ColourPop is starting to come out with more collections because you know for a while there they weren't posting anything and then last week they launched their twilight which i sold out with this week they have their lost and love you know valentine's day collection so i'm curious to see is this going to continue on they're going to keep releasing stuff or was it just like a one-time thing also, I know I said I hate Valentine's Day, but I want to let you know that Glamlight keeps teasing that they have a Valentine's Day collection that they're announcing sometime today. So I would definitely still be interested in checking it out. I may not like the Valentine's Day aspect, but it is Glamlight. And y'all know I, I live for Glamlight. So that is it for today's video, guys. I am so sorry I rambled on to you for so, so long. I do apologize, but I just just start telling you my life. I don't have any secrets from you guys. I always tell you guys everything. So hopefully you guys like me rambling on and hopefully you guys don't mind the stories. If you guys want more, always let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'll make sure I link my, my makeup that I'm wearing down below for you guys as well along these nails. And if you guys want to check out how I did this makeup routine, then please head over to my TikTok, my TikTok. Please go subscribe. Go give the video some love. I would really, really, really appreciate it because I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to do this, guys. So with that said guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already because i do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channel it's r for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes these beautiful wonderful patreon members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye um new zealand dark new their new zealand scar there's if you guys said let me if, i don't know 15 dollars is a reasonable price uh peach scents but i also feel like i also love peach scent i have to start telling my life it's how like i i, I don't hide any secrets i keep everything together i keep everything